Okay, uh, in this video we want to consider this permutation problem. Here we have a set of numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the first question we want to ask is how many different three-digit numbers can we form from this set of five numbers, and how many of those numbers will be even? Now we know what our formula is, our general permutation formula, but let's kind of take this from the top and solve this problem first by using just the general um, counting principle. So we have, we're going to select three numbers. We can think of having three tasks to perform. Task T1, T2, T3. Task T1 is to select the first number. Now there is no replacement here, unlike the previous video. So, to select our first number, there's five digits to choose from, so there's five ways to do that. Now, once we've selected a number, say we selected two, then when it goes to select the second number, there's only four numbers to choose from. So there's four ways to perform task number two. Let's say we select the number four. So that now when we go to select the third number, there are three choices left, so there are three ways to perform task T3. So if we ask ourselves if we're going to perform task T1 and T2 and T3, what's the total number of ways we can do that? That's 5 times 4 times 3 equals 60. So there's 60 different three-digit numbers that we could form from this set. Okay. Well, here's our general formula. So here, if we just apply the formula, we would say, well, there's five numbers. We're going to select three of them. So this would be equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial. That's 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. And these are simple, we can just write these out like this 2 factorial that comes out again to equal 60 so there are 60 different 3 digit numbers that we could form from this number group now we want to ask or answer the second part of the question of these 60 numbers how many of them will be even. So let's consider that part of the problem. So we have these digits. Now here in this case, we have a three-digit number that we're forming. If the last number is even, the entire number is even. For example, if we had 532, that's an even number. So here what we had to do is think of, all right, how many ways do we have to complete, to choose a number for our final digit? We need to have an even number here. And in our series, there's two even numbers. So there's two ways that we can fill in the last digit by choosing either one of these. Then for the digit next to that, that means then we want to choose that number. One of these is gone. We we'll say this one. So that means now there are four numbers to choose from. Then for the first digit, let's say we choose this. So that means then for the first digit, there's three numbers that can fill that slot. So the total number of ways that we can generate an even number is 12 times 2 equals 24. So let's go over this again so we don't make sure that we avoid confusion. That we'll just start right from the top. We have by this series of numbers. Now if we pick out three of them, 
if we form 60 different numbers, we want to know how many of these numbers are going to be even. That means then that the third digit has to be an even number. So that means that we select for the third digit, there's two choices that we can have, two or four. So now we're thinking about how we're going to make the number task T1 is select for the third digit. And to do that, there's two choices. So task T1, there's two ways of performing that. Now task T2, that is a deceptive number for this slot. Well, one of these even numbers is gone, so to perform task T2, now we have four numbers to choose from. There are four ways of performing task T2. Let's say we use this. Then task T3 is to fill in the first digit. By the time we get to doing that, two of the numbers have already been used up, so there are three ways to perform that task. The total number of ways then is 3 times 4 times 2 to perform T1 and T2 and T3. It is 2 times 4 times 3. equals 24. So out of the 60 numbers, 24 of them will be even numbers. Okay, uh, that's it for this problem. Now remember that this formula was developed in uh, previous videos. If you haven't seen those videos, you might be wondering how did we uh, obtain that. Um, if we found this on YouTube, the other videos involved might be shotgunned all over the place. If you go to digital-university.org, there you will find all of the permutation and combination and um, probability videos listed in their proper sequence. So this might be a more convenient uh, format for you to work with. Also, if you go to the website, there are hundreds more problem-solving videos and a whole variety of subjects that uh, might be helpful to you. Okay, come back and join us in the next video. We have one more permutation problem we want to try to work through.